Good morning. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. Lance Bolano, faculty member of the Department of Theology, will lead us in prayer. This will immediately be followed by the national anthem. We remind ourselves that we are always in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we ask for your blessing and guidance as we celebrate the beginning of these students' college life. We give thanks to parents, families, friends, guardians, mentors, all who have helped make these great people who they are today. In their tran transition to this new stage of their formation, we ask you that you bless them, that they may move into this stage with grace, peace, and courage. And as they settle in, help them to open their hearts so that they may be ready to say goodbye to what was and be open to what will be. We pray that we might be inspired by new places, new things, new people, new friendships, new opportunities, and new challenges. Grant us accepting hearts and open minds, and give us the courage to truly act as we are called to be in the world. We pray that these students will thrive academically, morally, and spiritually as they make the most of their Ateneo experience. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, future Athenians. We are the School of Humanities, and we are truly glad to welcome you to this year's virtual open house. All right, thank you. So thank you for those beaming smiles on this early Saturday morning. Ako po si Jethro Tenorio, mula sa Kagawara ng Filipino ng Paaralan ng Humanidades. Uh, in the past years that I have been uh, hosting this uh, open house, I always begin by congratulating everyone present you know, for surviving the Katipunan weekend traffic. <laughs> but I guess that is one victory we won't be missing in this setup. You know? Although we're still braving uh, this morning's internet traffic, so I guess we still deserve that congratulatory remark. Okay? But the real feat that we are celebrating this morning belongs to our uh, students. So congratulations on being accepted into the Ateneo. And thank you for attending and participating in this year's Open House, the first virtual one of its kind. So we hope that we can get to know each other better as we go through today's presentations and activities. This year, we are also celebrating the Ignatian year with the theme, 
all things new in Christ. To talk more about it, let us welcome our university president, Father Bobby Yap of the Society of Jesus. Hello and welcome to Ateneo de Manila University. I'm Father Bobby Yap speaking to you from the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception, the spiritual heart of the college complex. I'm very glad you could make it to today's reception. 500 years ago, a wayward cannonball shattered a soldier's leg. And that cannonball is the reason why we are all here today. You see, that soldier was a man named Ignacio de Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. It was the turning point which made him declare his life to service, both to God and to the world. When we talk of cannonball moments, we refer to events or phases in our lives that make us pivot towards a different life-altering path. Going to college is already a life-changing event in itself as you start on a path towards a better future for yourself and your family. But during these volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous times, more is being asked of us. Our times call for a reimagination of our society and our future. We need to unlearn a lot of old ways so we can move forward towards a more just, equitable, and inclusive world. We are being called upon to see all things new. For this to happen, we need to go beyond ourselves and move beyond just our personal and professional development and towards finding our purpose. We are being called to not just be ready for our personal tomorrows, but our collective tomorrow. We are being called to become cannonballs ourselves, making an impact that can change the course of people's lives for the better, moving them to also work towards building a better world. We hope that by choosing Ateneo de Manila University, your college experience will be like that cannonball that struck Ignatius, your own turning point. We hope that you will take this unique opportunity to take a journey that will transform your entire person, becoming a true person for and with others, ready, willing, and able to set the world on fire. Welcome to Ateneo, and we hope to see you around campus virtually for now, and hopefully physically very soon. Thank you very much, Father Bobby. So we hope that this open house can uh, shed light as to how we can join the Ateneo's mission of reimagining and seeing things new in Christ. And to formally welcome us in our open house this morning is the Vice President for the Loyola Schools. Please welcome Dr. Maria Luz C. Vilches. Hello, prospective Athenians. On this favorable occasion of opening our house to you, I warmly welcome you to your new home. Perhaps though, for a good number of you, being here is part of the ritual of what we might say, final shopping for a suitable institution. And that is all legitimate, of course. But as Vice President for the Loyola Schools, I am with a definitely happy bias about welcoming you to your new home at Ateneo de Manila University. And home it is indeed, warm and cozy, not sticky crowded, and easy for people like you to get to know one another. Even if we are still operating online on the Ateneo Blue Cloud, that kind of warmth and cozy feeling is not lost. In the class activities that teachers foster, in the processes that have been organized so that students will have easy access to essential services. Even in automated transactions, Ateneo de Manila has a caring profile 
and a compassionate presence. In the Loyola schools, your courses will make you intellectually adept. But that, as you may say, is what all educational institutions are expected to do in the first place. In addition though, and most importantly so, here you will also learn how to look into your heart and find wisdom and insight there. After all, as the little prince tells us, it is only with a heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. But it doesn't stop there. The education of the heart can make you find greater meaning in life. It can urge you to do something for the greater good. And that is where you will find joy, joy that is lasting. So then, come to the Ateneo Loyola schools and we shall let you discover better our secret of finding that joy. Allow us to accompany you in your journey of discovering your inner strengths and gifts and in helping you soar to great heights. Welcome again and have a good day. Thank you very much, Doc Marlu. Ayan. So, sabi niya nga, ano, even though we're still in this uh, stage ano, of shopping <laughs> for for uh, 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 the university I know that uh, we'd like to go to, um, we already are welcoming you I know, into this uh, home that we call the Ateneo. Okay? At, uh, Doc Marlu is uh, here with us this morning as she is also a proud member of the School of Humanities. Hello, Doc Marlu. The current global crisis has upended the educational system worldwide. Now you may be wondering, how will you proceed with your college education in these circumstances? Ateneo de Manila has a uniquely Jesuit and Atenean take on online learning that is innovative, creative, adaptive, and most importantly, inclusive. To learn more, joining us is Father Johnny Go of the Society of Jesus, Dean of the Gokongwe Brothers School of Education and Learning Design. When it became clear to us last year that there would be no in-person classes, we didn't just jump into the bandwagon of figuring out how to train ourselves on online learning and teaching. We first put our heads together to find out what kind of online education we wanted to offer our students, one that would be distinctly Atenean. And that's how we came up with the Ateneo Blue Cloud. You could say that Ateneo Blue Cloud is online education the Ateneo way. It's our way of promoting learning that isn't just rigorous, but also engaging. We agreed early on that our brand of online education would not just be a case of instructors dumping content and readings on our students and leaving them on their own to sink or swim. Rather, Ateneo Blue Cloud is about designing your experience so that you are not left alone, but that you learn not only with your professors, but also with your fellow Ateneans. Ateneo Blue Cloud is also about making sure that everyone is included, every single student. It's about making sure that we don't privilege some students just because they have more reliable internet access. Ateneo Blue Cloud is our virtual campus, an online gathering space for our students, not just to study together, but also to have fun together, organize activities, and get to know one another. Only after we defined the Ateneo brand of online education did we proceed to train our faculty through a systematic online learning course called Adaptive Design for Learning. It's a professional certificate training we offer to the entire university, as well as other Jesuit universities all over the country, not to mention a number of high schools like those in the Philippine Science High School System. So as you can see, we worked really hard to make sure that we are ready for you, to offer you the same high-quality Jesuit education that has defined the Ateneo de Manila University all these years. 
We hope to see you on our Ateneo Blue Cloud. The school on the hill is now in the cloud. Thank you very much, Father Johnny. Ayan, so we welcome you to Ateneo Blue Cloud. At, uh, we pride you know, in the ad adaptive design for learning that your uh, teachers uh, will be equipping you know, in, in your classes. Salamat po ulit. At naniniwala po ako ano, na sa panahon ngayon, itong mga ugnayang online at uh, mga sapilitang paghihiwalay na nagbubunga naman itong mga inovasyon sa pag-aaral. Uh, ngayon, higit kailanman mahalaga nating tanungin kung paano pa rin maging tao at paano magpakatao. And these are the questions that the humanities have been asking, challenging, and celebrating through the arts, languages, religion, philosophy, all approached interdisciplinarily. These are the very departments that compose our School of Humanities. Joining us today are the chairpersons and program directors whom you will meet later during our departmental talks. And uh, we are spearheaded by our Dean. And so please welcome the Dean of the School of Humanities, Dr. Jonathan Chua. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is an invitation for uh, you to spend the next four years of your life at the School of Humanities of the Ateneo de Manila University. Um, you're among the few out of what, 13,000 applicants uh, who've been accepted into one of our nine uh, undergraduate programs. We'll learn more about them uh, in the second half of today's uh, program. Um, there's something to be said about our programs. I know it sounds a bit boastful. Um, the Commission on Higher Education declared our departments of English and philosophy as centers of excellence. Our department of Filipino is a center of development. Um, the philosophy program is also certified by the ASEAN Universities Network. Um, in the subject area of language and literature, we are in the top 250 of the QS World University rankings. Um, so I guess if you're still shopping, I think the product that we're offering is of uh, relatively good quality. No? It's not embarrassing. Uh, the faculty of the School of Humanities uh, is an intellectually diverse group. About a quarter of them obtained their uh, degrees in reputable universities abroad. And many of them are recognized leaders in their field. I won't uh, single out anybody, uh, but if you've been paying attention in your senior high school or high school years, you probably know some of them already, you know? Uh, by name. Uh, to be their student would be something like being apprenticed to, you know, Qui-Gon Jinn, you know, or Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, you stand to benefit from all that, no? Uh, if you choose to come here. Uh, there are many opportunities for you to learn uh, new things at the school. In addition to the degree programs, the School of Humanities offers uh, minors in literature, Filipino and English, no? philosophy, theater, creative writing, music, literature, and the European languages, French, German, and Spanish. All students here, by the way, have to take a foreign language, you know, and some programs required too. You just need maybe three more subjects to have a minor. And according to the U.S. World University rankings, modern languages is, uh, uh, is one of our strengths. So we're only, there are only two universities in the Philippines that ranked you know, uh, in that survey. We're in the top 250 there. You know? Outside of the class context, there are also many opportunities for you to work with your peers. There are over 48 uh, campus organizations, many of them related to the arts and letters, the arts and humanities. Um, the school also regularly holds fora, exhibitions, uh, concerts, lectures, film viewings, workshops, all year round. No? And all of these things can enrich your learning experience. Now, the pandemic has limited the opportunities for our majors to study abroad, but we now have an online learning exchange program where qualified students can take courses online and uh, receive credits no? uh, for taking those courses with our partner universities abroad. Uh, and even though it's still suspended because of the pandemic, it may interest you to know um, that uh, one of the things unique to the school is the European Summer Study Tour conducted by our Modern Languages Department. You know, it, it consists of uh, 
It's a month long activity of uh, intensive language learning as well as immersion no? um, in the cultures of Spain, France, and Germany. You get to experience it firsthand and you also get to uh, earn credits for that. Our graduates generally do well after, uh, after college. No? Um, according to the university rankings, the Ateneo de Manila is among the top Philippine universities when it comes to uh, employability. So that should be reassuring to your parents. No? Uh, given all that, I hope you accept the invitation to join us at the School of Humanities, if I may sum up what we're really offering. It's simply the space, the tools, and the training no? uh, to help you flourish personally and professionally. Uh, if the humanities happens to be your passion and your interest, I hope you let the school uh, help you develop your gifts to the fullest. Imagine the, all the good that you can do both for yourself and your community, you being the brightest among your batch you know, if you've come this far. Um, so I hope you join us at the School of Humanities and allow us to help you flourish. Good morning to you all. Thank you, Dr. Chua. So ayan po ang patikim kung ano ang paaralan ng humanitates. And uh, just like uh, what Dr. Chua said, we hope that you uh, enter as young Padawans in, in our schools and become Jedis in your own right. Salamat po. Now, you may be wondering um, what you can become after graduating from the School of Humanities. So now let's listen to a message from an alumnus of the school, Mr. Gabe Mercado. Your parents may remember him as the model in uh, the Yakult TV commercials. Mr. Mercado graduated from uh, Atene de Manila in 1994 with a degree in interdisciplinary studies. He's an actor and the founder of SPIT, an improv group that has performed in improv festivals all over the world. He is also the president of Third World Improv Incorporated, which offers improv classes. He is the CEO of Vivita Philippines, a creativity accelerator. Please welcome Mr. Gabe Mercado. Hey everyone, thanks for inviting me to the School of Humanities Open House. My name is Gabe Mercado. I am an actor, I am a director, and I'm currently the CEO of a small creativity accelerator for kids aged 8 to 15 here in Baguio City. Here in Vivita, we combine the best of science, tech, engineering, arts, and math to prepare kids for a 21st century future. Uh, and I directly credit what I do in my life and what I'm doing now to my humanities education. When I was your age many, many, many years ago, and I wanted to take a particular course in college, uh, my dad sat me down and said, don't take that course. Instead, take the humanities instead. In fact, the way he said it was, why uh, take that course when you could go to college instead? My dad was always a huge, huge fan of the humanities. And that's because he was always of the belief that whatever you taught in, whatever you learned in technical courses in college would be irrelevant uh, by the time you'd get to the workplace because of how fast technology would be evolving. And certainly in my field, um, he was right. However, reading the great books, philosophy, so uh, theology, uh, languages, those are things that almost no job right now will teach you while you're on the job. And the best way and the best time to learn it is during college. And there's no better, better, better place for the humanities in the Philippine educational scene than the Ateneo de Manila University. I was a graduate of interdisciplinary studies and I, my concentrations were philosophy and sociology. And these were um, subjects that in many ways uh, are impractical unless you're becoming a, uh, a teacher. But these disciplines allowed me to ask the deeper questions. 
asked me to think why things are the way they are. And should things be the way they are? And it's really uh, tackling these in the humanities that has allowed me to think beyond the box, uh, outside the box, when it comes to running a creativity accelerator, uh, directing and running my own improv theater school. Those are skills that have kept me going in my field with depth, with understanding, and with relevance. And certainly, being at the age where you are when you have the energy, the curiosity, and the drive to really, really understand things, there's no better time than now to enroll in the School of Humanities. So whether you're uh, enrolling for English, Filipino, modern languages, uh, theology, interdisciplinary studies, or fine arts, I say go for it. Go for it. In a time where everything is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, the humanities have never been more relevant. Congratulations and welcome to the Ateneo. Maraming salamat, Gabe. Ayan. So, ngayon, higit kailanman, ay may saysay ang humanitates. Right. Uh, and if we are um, interested ano, to, to learn more about uh, vivita.ph, you can visit their website. And of course, it uh, explores also uh, innovative um, uh, solutions and, and activities ano, uh, while equipping creativity and open minds, uh, which the School of Humanities uh, uh, promotes. Ano? So you can visit their page anytime. All right. So uh, at this moment, we may have uh, questions about the Loyola School, specifically our school, uh, the School of Humanities. Uh, we've uh, been gathering your questions that you have uh, submitted through our Q&A uh, form in the link that we showed earlier. Okay. And uh, so on your behalf, we will be fielding some of the questions to our dean and department chairs. And we will respond to the other questions maybe on a later date. Ano kung hindi nakasya sa oras natin. Okay, so uh, here are some of the questions. Okay, let me just uh, look at our form. Okay, so one question is uh, from or for the inter uh, interdisciplinary studies uh, department. For the music literature track, will the students be required to at least have excessive musical knowledge? What are the subjects that we will take up in this specific course? I think the best person to answer that would be uh, the chair of the Interdisciplinary Studies Department, uh, Dr. Nikki Carsey Cruz. Okay. Nikki? Uh, you do not need to have excessive music knowledge, nor even... Um, beyond average reasonable knowledge of music because the title of the music minor is in music literature so it's not in music performance and so even those who are not gifted in music but are very passionate and interested enough to study it and learn a lot about it can take the course so i hope that answers the question thank you uh nikki mm -hmm. So no need, I know, for, for extensive knowledge before. Because that's why uh, that's why you're enrolling in, in music uh, uh, literature course. Okay. Uh, so another question here. Um, I think it's addressed uh, to the Office of Admission and Aid. May we know if there are any scholarships we can still apply for for school year 2021 to 22. Thank you. Will we be able to... Uh, do we have somebody from the Office of Admission here, Admission and Aid? Hi, hi, Sir Jonathan. Yeah. Yes. This is Apple. I'm from the Admissions Office. Yes, to answer the question about the scholarship, we 
have already disseminated all of the scholarship grants for this uh, school year. But if there are students who would still need financial assistance, they may be able to apply for a scholarship once uh, before they transition to their second year. Okay. So they can, uh, before they transition? To, to second to year. So um, for the first year, we've already distributed the grants. All right. Thank you. Okay, and also you, the the, the students can actually uh, keep in touch with the Office for uh, Admission and Aid if they have still other questions and know regarding the scholarships. Okay, thank you, Miss Apple. Okay, uh, we have another set of questions from someone who was accepted in the philosophy program. Uh, the first question is: At what year can I minor in a course? Is it possible to do business-related minors such as economics? Uh, you can take a minor actually almost uh, any time. No? Uh, the thing to do is to check with the office that's offering the minor no? uh, about their requirements. But typically, a minor is uh, 12 to 15 units no? on top of your regular program. Uh, so yeah, you, you, it's, it's encouraged. No? You, you can actually take a minor in, uh, is it economics you said? Is it economics, no? Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah, go, go. Yes, I know. And it's, uh, also it's always important to talk to your chair also because the department chair uh, can advise you about uh, your program of study. Everybody has an independent program of study, and that's uh, that's uh, visited. You no, know, I think every semester. Uh, yes. Okay. Hindi being ko ano na mahalaga rin siyempre that we coordinate we talk to our home departments ano kasi sila yung makakapag-advise sa atin ano nung best course ano pwedeng gawin. Thank you. Uh and the uh, same from the same uh, entry is it possible to shift courses in an online setting? If yes, what is the process for? Ah uh, yes, no, pero uh, I don't think you're allowed to shift in the first year. You have to finish the first year first. No? And then, you know, the process is, I think you're, uh, once you're in, no? once you're in, I think you will have the, uh, you have your handbook, you'll be given that, and all the processes will be there. No? So, yeah, try it, Muna, for one year. <laughs> anyway, in the first year, everybody takes the same courses regardless of the, of the major. No? So 90% of what you'll be taking uh, in your course now well, will be the same courses that you'll be taking elsewhere. So it's it's not really a, a loss. No? Okay. Well, I hope Fair. nobody ships out. No? <laughs> <laughs> not this early. No? Yes. Okay. Kaya nga po important din na ma-experience din mo na yung first year. Ano? And yeah, so yeah. now in this context that we have major subjects being taken then during the freshman year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, I suggest that uh, you ask as many questions uh, in the second half of this program, no? because that's when you talk to your individual program directors and department chairs. And I think that's really where the, where the, the nuts and bolts and all the information can come in. Eh? No? So there, no? Uh, other questions? Uh, there's a third one. Does the SOH uh, collaborate with the School of uh, Social Sciences, management, etc., in terms of school activities or programs. Oh yes, yes we do. In fact, we have a, in June we have an international conference uh, so on the uh, quincentenary of the uh, circumnavigation of the world, no? uh, and that's a that's a project that brings together uh, all the departments of the school plus the departments of history uh, and, uh, and other units, no? including, for example, the library. We have a library of women's writings, no? uh, plus our international partners. So yes, we do. Uh, there's even a session on, uh, on uh, businesses. No? It's called Spices to Startups because you know these, uh, uh, the Europeans came looking for spices. No? And 500, 500 years later, they now have businesses, no? So from sardines to whatever, no? So, uh, so that's a business uh, perspective, no? Uh, as part of that conference. So it's not just history, no? Or the arts, but it's a combination of all these aspects. 
So yeah, yeah, we do have that, no? Collaboration. Uh, yeah. And we are a conference link also at the, uh, I think somebody gave us the link to the conference. You can check that out, no? Just to give you a sense of what we do. Yeah. Any other question? Uh, here's, uh, we have one from uh, the creative writing under the finance hmm. uh, department. Uh, the question is, what makes uh, ADMO special compared to other universities offering BA creative writing? Oh, so dear. We have to toot our own horn. Uh, can <laughs> I have to ask the chair of the fine arts department. Is he here? Martin? Martin Villanueva? To make a pitch? <laughs> Martin? Hi, uh, I'm here. Can we perhaps discuss that during our departmental talk? Uh, I don't really think it's in good taste to, uh, to necessarily foreground uh, our programs vis-a-vis -vis our, our, our friends from other universities. After all, our faculty uh, are, are not all graduates of these uh, of, of the Ateneo Spirit of Writing program, uh, graduates of other universities. No? So I don't think you're going to trick me into playing that game. Uh, <laughs> I, I will only foreground that the, the, the great thing about our creative writing program within the context of Ateneo is that uh, we draw from a rich pool of, of faculty, not only within the department of fine arts. So there are creative writing, uh, creative writers uh, in all departments you know, and many uh, departments within the humanities. And we draw upon that rich pool of faculty uh, so that you'll have an exposure to different kinds of persuasions. But I, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to fall for that. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's in good days not that, with respect to the other universities. I just think we're a good program. Yeah. Program worth your, worth your while. I don't want to play that yeah. game. <laughs> if you don't mind, Jonathan, I, I know the goal is to sell the product. Yeah. But that's not how I prefer to do it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. So if you wish to learn more about the programs, you know, your courses, okay, uh, you can uh, ask your questions in, in, uh, during the departmental talks later. Okay. Um, I think we have... Uh, time for one more back or what? Uh, one more yeah. When will the school year begin and will it be fully online at least for the first or at least for the first semester? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it will still be fully online. Uh, when do we start? Is it September? See, I don't even remember now. Uh, I think late August. August, no? August 26th. August 26th, yes, late August. Thank you, Dr. Vilches. Yes. All right, so fully online beginning on August 26th, right? And we're excited to see you there. All right, so uh, for other questions you know, related to our courses, again, we can address them in uh, during our departmental talks. Uh, also, we will be uh, replying to the questions via email. So yes. for those who, that uh, weren't uh, addressed in this uh, open house. All right. Salamat po, Dr. Chua, and salamat din po sa ating uh, departments and programs. So the first part of our open house has come to an end. Okay, so salamat po uli sa mga ngiting ibinahagi. And so we shall close this uh, first part of our uh, uh, program with our alma mater song, a song for Mary. Yeah.
Up next, the different departments will host the departmental talks uh, where you can learn in more detail the degree programs our school is offering. For those accepted into art management, creative writing, information design, and theater arts, there's no need to leave uh, this Zoom room as the Department of Fine Arts will have the departmental talk in this same Zoom room. Links to the, the, the other departmental talks as well as contact information for the other departments are available in at the link pasted in the chat box. SOH open house talks. So we hope that we have helped you in your discernment as you think about the path that you'll be taking for college. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact us or the departments directly. On behalf of the entire School of Humanities, ako po si Jethro Tenorio, and I wish everyone a good day and may you all stay safe and healthy. Hoping to see you on campus soon. Magandang araw po.